Hey guys, hope you are doing well. So, I'm Mike Denkler from CoreMX, and we are bringing you the most important crypto news, technical analysis, altcoin, NFT, DeFi gems to keep you updated and educated. In the, the today video, we will talking about the Ethereum 2.0, the Ethereum merge, and we will look into it. How can we take some benefits uh, on this? So let's get into. I should say that nothing in this video can be considered as a financial or investment advice so everything just for your education and edu uh, entertainment purposes only so smash those like push the bell notification all subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so appreciate all your like it's helping out the YouTube algorithm so first let's check out our favorite bubble chart we see that Bitcoin and Ethereum is down almost two percent and uh, uh, they are uh, correcting a little bit and also we see just few alts are pumping like doge and others are correcting like bit and uh, cell token uh, correcting uh, 21 percent let's go and check out our favorite indicator the crypto fear and greed index it is at 44 yesterday it was uh, 45 so we are at a higher level on this uh, scale but uh, just uh, getting closer to the neutral zone so we uh, uh, the market is uh, still in the fear so let's go and check out what we should know about the ethereum merge so there is a, a great article on moonpay about the ethereum 2.0 and ethereum merge and uh, you can read this through uh, the ethereum merge uh, 2.0 explained and what is ethereum 2.0 uh, what is the merge and what will change so everything that uh, interesting you will find here uh, so the most important thing that Ethereum will move from proof uh, of uh, from proof of work to proof of stake so this is the consensus mechanism that will change totally uh, the, there is no need for miners in the future uh, but uh, uh, Ethereum need stakers and uh, stakers are uh, just staking ethereum in a smart contract and uh, th this is how the consensus and the transaction validation goes through the beacon chain happened in december uh, last year that was uh, the first huge step uh, to this merge and now the merge uh, with the Gorli uh, testnet uh, uh, happened suc successfully last week and uh, the merge will be uh, in september approximately 20, 20, 22nd or, or uh, around 20 of September so security will be uh, scalability and also uh, just uh, the transactions uh, will go through faster and and also uh, this will be not happening uh, after the merge immediately but after the merge there will be several upgrades that bringing us these uh, <coughs> implementations also st sustainability lower energy levels and uh, it will not consume huge energy so this is uh, the merge is, is expected to reduce ethereum's energy expenditure by 99 percent so transaction fees uh, also the gas fees will reduce with time when will the ethereum update take place uh, for September 19th so what are the next steps for Ethereum um, there will be the vertical trees macro trees and also the sharding and uh, and the roll-ups so here are some uh, frequently asked questions the most important questions that do ether ETH holders need to uh, any do anything with their Ethereum to prepare for the merge no so you you will able to use your Ethereum after the merge you don't have to do anything what will happen to the staked Ethereum so the staked Ethereum uh, will be staked uh, 6 uh, to 12 months after the merge and uh, you will be unable to withdraw your staked ether and uh, there will be this shanghai upgrade and with the daily withdrawal limit of 40,000 ethereum per day uh, you, you will be able to withdraw every day some portion of your staked ethereum okay will ethereum staking rewards go up or down 
uh, some rates are as high as 10 15 percent api at the start of course the attractive rates will lure more stakers in a subsequent api will likely go back down afterwards what can eth investors expect uh, financially staking interestingly provides an incentive for users to hold and not to sell and with the 6-12 months lockup period after the merge there will be a significant buffer before mass selling by validators can begin so they will be not a huge sell-off be because this uh, sex, uh, 6 to 12 months unlocking period until then it is possible to predict what markets will look like this far into the future and what individuals will decide to do with their staked eat uh, will they restake sell buy more or stake uh, we will find out uh, so staking ethereum is uh, rewards from validating transactions buy ethereum via yeah so you can so you can purchase ethereum via moon pay sorry for the noise but i'm here in my apartment and some folks are around so Ether jumps 11% as it will merge completes final test before transition to a proof of stake network. So that happened uh, last week, and the girly testnet uh, was successfully, and Ethereum jumped almost 11% in a day. So uh, let's go to another topic that Ethereum miners uh, want to uh, fork uh, hard fork Ethereum. So ETH proof of work team sa says its minor led ethereum fork is inevitable so the ethereum proof of work team issued an open letter discussing its firm plan to fork ethereum the project said it has removed the difficulty bomb on its version of the ethereum code in preparing for the fork so why they want to f fork uh, uh, ethereum because uh, they uh, have their mining machines they don't want to sell their mining machines they don't see any other better option to mine so that is why they want to keep uh, the proof of work type of ethereum and they uh, want to mine they want to uh, run uh, uh, ethereum uh, in, in as an old uh, version and this is how uh, they can make some profits but uh, what you you have to do you you don't have to do so if you are holding ethereum on <laughs> on your ledger or your on your in your in your metamask then uh, you will get also this uh, for ethereum and you can sell it mm. but uh, as that time uh, in 2017 uh, bitcoin cash was for from bitcoin uh, with time bitcoin press uh, bitcoin cash price went down so i don't think that uh, a huge uh, opportunity is there in uh in th in this uh proof of work uh, version of uh, ethereum but let's uh, check bitcoin cash b cash or what is this bit big bitcoin cash okay so so the price is not the same like bitcoin as you see so bitcoin is uh, now around 24,000 US dollars and bitcoin cash 140 and you see uh, after the fork its price went uh, hugely up and then just dumped into nothing so the small pool of eth cannot hold the entire computing power pool of ethereum at all this is a hard fact so ethereum classic is the first version of ethereum and in in the uh, the face of such hard facts this hard fork is inevitable the ethereum pov team said so they will fork this cool guys coming sooner ethereum devs move up the date for merge so we have a date uh, also september 15th of september but we'll see so it is also can change so better to to keep it up and then the total terminal difficulty when hits this block number then <coughs> the merge will happening proof of miners to hold on yes uh, as uh, we already talked so bitcoin btc and ethereum miner and crypto angel investor chandler gu an obvious proponent of 
proof of work chains is leading the charge for miners f to fork the Ethereum network to create an Ethereum proof of work chain. Gu seems to think that there is uh, enough room in the industry for two types of Ethereum to exist and has retweeted a series <coughs> of opinions supporting the options. So, uh, in the same time, everything that uh, you are holding also will be on this proof of work chain. Uh, also, your stable coins uh, will be uh, doubled, but you will not able to sell because there will be no supporters and no um, liquidity uh, on those forks. So, if you got this uh, ETHW, then uh, yes, uh, you will be able to sell as Poloinex already listed it. But with other ASC20 version, ASC20 tokens that uh, you will uh, you will get uh, doubled, you will not able to do anything. <coughs> Ethereum merge on track as Gordy test merge successfully finalized. So yes, the Gordy testnet has been successfully merged and is now a full proof of stake chain. Next up, it's finally to iti the Ethereum mainnet. So <coughs> the mainnet will be merging with the Golit testnet. The merge is coming. Okay. Golit has merged. Fantastic. Cool. Free science Ethereum price is on track towards 2.5 thousand US dollar by September. So what are those? Free science Ethereum chain split means more tokens, as we already talked about the Ethereum proof of work chain <coughs> alongside and its native token. Binance considering doing the same if necessary. So Binance uh, hasn't listed yet, but I think it will. Bullish flipping underway during the recent price. So also this can uh, this can help Ethereum in price to go up because some folks will speculate that they will get these uh, forked coins and as a free money and this is why they are buying Ethereum but maybe uh, on the day of the merge they will dump their Ethereum. So bullish flipping underway. <coughs> so nearest upside target in the 50 week exponential moving average, 50 week moving average at 2340 as you see here okay institutional inflows gain momentum <coughs> technical upside target of 2500 re received coups from recent uptick in capital inflows into cap uh, ethereum based investment fund flows by assets um, and you see that ethereum inflow is dominating uh, the week Overall, the buzz around the merge acts as the main bullish catalyst, as mentioned above. However, Ether could see strong price correction after the upgrade to proof of stake occurs in September when traders potentially <coughs> start to sell the news. Yes. Next. Ethereum set to explode after major update, according to BitMEX founder Arthur Hayes. Here is why. So. BitMEX co-founder Arthur Hayes explains that Ethereum finds itself in a curious situation called backwardation where the asset spot's price is higher than what it's trading for in the futures market. <coughs> Hayes believes uh, the discrepancy is due to traders' apprehension prior to it ETH's upcoming switch to a proof of stake. Consensus mechanism that's scheduled for mid-September. The curve is in backwardation. This is futures. A spot out uh, until January 2023. <coughs> My guess is because traders are hedging out ETH exposure pre merge just in case. <coughs> if the marginal pressure is on, on the sell side, then the market make, uh, makers are long futures and must short sell spot to hedge themselves. This adds downward price pressure to the ca uh, cash or spot market. But what happens if the merge is successful and hedgers cover their shorts so they are not net long Ethereum again? And what if speculators who believe in a triple halving YOLO into leverage long positions? Now the pressure is on the buy side and market makers are short futures and must go long spot. A reversal of their positioning pre-merge. 
if you believe the merge is going to succeed, then this is yet another positive structural reason why Ethereum could get higher into the end of the year. Okay, I think we will have another article from R2 Hayes. Yes, Twin Catalyst could send Ethereum soaring 200% according to BitMEX co-founder Arthur Hayes. So he wrote a long, long medium article and he's talking about the Ethereum and the Federal Reserve um, how can adopt its monetary policy. So Fed pivot plus successful Ethereum merge what I'm speculating will happen and the best case scenario for Ethereum in November 2021 the Fed was printing money, shitcoins were surging and the tension started shifting to the bullish narrative surrounding an upcoming 2022 Ethereum merge. Therefore I, win, uh, I, I will use 500, uh, 5, US dollar the psychological barrier Ether fell just short of at that time as my price target for this scenario <coughs> and this is 200% uh, from here in the first scenario where Ethereum's tra transition to proof of stake fails and the Fed maintains tight monetary policy he says that the price of Ether would fall significantly from current levels no free money and no assistance from Ethereum uh, co-founder uh, from Vitaly Buterin takes us back to the dark ages that would be recent low of a 1000 US dollar which is my price prediction for this scenario but there is not too much probability of this scenario next circle plans uh, to only support ethereum proof of stake chain after merge is complete so circle will just support the ethereum proof of stake they will not support the, uh, the proof of work chain USDC has become a cure building block for Ethereum DeFi innovation. It has facilitated the adoption of L2 solutions and have broadened the uh, set uh, of use cases that today rely on Ethereum's vast suite of uh, capabilities. We understand the responsibility we have for the Ethereum ecosystem and businesses, developers and end users that depend on USD USDC and we intend to do the right thing. Okay, we don't anticipate disruptions to USDC on-chain capabilities nor to our fully automated issuance and redemption. Cool. Guys, so that's all about the Ethereum merge. Uh, so the main takeaway uh, that you can learn more about uh, what is Ethereum 2.0 and also I think the best way uh, to look into uh, the probability of the successful emerge and the fat pivot and uh, and uh, just do your best as uh, you want to t take uh, the opportunity and also as uh, ethereum miners are uh, are just planning to fork ethereum that also if you are holding ethereum that you will get and the ethereum proof of work coin so guys, that's it for today. Smash those like, push the bell notification, or also visit our farms, provide some liquid on Uniswap, on PancakeSwap, lock up your LPs, LP tokens, and earn up a 330% juicy APRs. And also go follow me on Twitter, and also follow Korean platform over there. So guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for smashing those like. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.